Hi, I'm David Buchanan, Applications Engineer for Analog Devices High Speed Analog to Digital Converter Group. With me is Michael Sink, Software Applications Engineer for our group. Today we're going to talk about ADC evaluation boards. We'll go over how to select evaluation boards, how to set them up, and even touch on the testing process. Finally, we'll show how to use Visual Analog to capture data from the board. ADC evaluation boards are product specific, and ADI offers ADCs that range from 6 to 16 bit resolution and up to 400 mega samples per second. To aid in the selection process, please visit our website at analog.com slash fastADCs. This is the AD9211 evaluation board. The AD9211 is a high performance 250 mega sample per second 10 bit ADC with less than 400 milliwatt power dissipation. Now the other board we have here is model number HSC ADC Eval C, which is our latest high speed data capture board. The high speed ADC group currently has two data capture solutions. Now the legacy model is FIFO memory based and supports older products. The board we're using today is the Vertex 4 FPGA based solution for our latest high speed ADCs. Now this solution supports CMOS output data up to 300 mega samples per second and LVDS and serial LVDS output data up to 760 mega samples per second. There's a compatibility list on the website shown here. Let's describe the one that we're going to use today. This is a typical bench evaluation setup for testing our high speed ADCs. We have an AD9211 evaluation board. Here's the ADC chip. And the board includes onboard supply regulators. All we need to power up the board is this six volt input from the wall wart, which is included when you order the evaluation board. The clock input is being driven by a 13 dBm 210 mega sample per second crystal sign source, which has excellent phase and broadband noise characteristics, and is therefore a very low jitter clock source. The onboard transformer coupled circuit converts this signal into a differential pulse we need for the sample clock input of the AD9211. The analog input is also driven by a crystal sign source. In this case, it's 50.3 megahertz, and we need a bandpass filter to eliminate the input's harmonics and some attenuators to reduce the input level to that of the ADC. Again, a transformer coupled input circuit converts the signal to a differential one we need at the input to the AD9211. These crystal sign sources give us excellent performance but designers have other options such as signal generators. The output data is passed over this connector and the SPI interface signals are received from the data capture board over this connector. Now the data capture card is based on a Vertex 4 FPGA which receives the data and stores it in memory. Once a block of memory is captured it is passed back through the USB cable to the PC which is running Visual Analog. Now Visual Analog auto detects ADCs that support a serial port interface by reading back a unique device ID from the ADC. Now using the auto detect makes it easy to get started once you have all the hardware in place. As you can see, Visual Analog has detected a 9211. And so all I really need to do is click an FFT and then hit open. A window pops up and asks if we want to program the FPGA. There are different FPGA configurations for different ADCs and clicking yes in this window will load the FPGA with the most common configuration for this device. If you have a configuration already loaded or you want to load something different, you can click no to bypass this form. You can always manually load a file later. For this example, we'll click yes. Now, when I run the FFT, Visual Analog will display the results. For further information, you can always consult the Visual Analog Manual on the website. This contains a quick start guide that outlines the procedure Michael just demonstrated. Evaluating the performance of high-speed ADCs is not an easy task. You need a good PCB layout, a high-speed data capture solution, and a way to analyze the data. As you've seen today, Analog Devices jump starts this process with ADC evaluation boards, high speed data capture solutions, and the visual analog software. These are the same analysis tools we use to develop and evaluate the products, and we have made them available to our customers.
For more detailed information on evaluating high-speed ADCs, just go to our website and search for the application note AN835. This document was written by engineers at Analog Devices and is an excellent reference for understanding the methods we use for evaluating and characterizing high-speed ADCs. And our application team is always available if you need further information. Just shoot us an email at highspeed.converters at analog.com. Thanks for joining us today.